Well, happy Thanksgiving Eve, everybody. I'm balancing between getting stuff ready for the uh, old extreme feast of one for tomorrow. So timeline is still the same. I will come on at 10 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. We will do a little bit of a hobby chit chat. I could open up personal box that type of time frame. I do have somebody that did want to split a box with me, so we'll probably start with that off first. Uh, approximately 11 p.m. Eastern, we're going to knock out some uh, um, trivia. And oh, let me grab what the top prize is. There's probably around 15 to 20 questions. I forget where I ended at. It's just not all questions. I can show a picture on the screen and ask you who it is, what it is of, stuff like that. So trivia is going to be geared by points. And the way it works is that if I could Google the answer quickly, it's worth one point. And like I said, it'll be scored on points at the end. Top person, it's a box of 2020 Bowman Platinum. These are around 50 bucks in Walmart and stuff like that. You do get, oh, there it is. Bam, you get two Chartreuse Parallels and one autographed card inside. You can have me rip it live if you want, or I can ship it whole. Don't matter. There will be a second and third place prize as well, too. So if you don't want that and you say, well, you know what? I want what second place would have got. That's fine, too. You can have top pick. There'll be three things up on the stands. But I wanted to show what the numero uno is for tomorrow for trivia. So good prizes for top three people. Um, hopefully everybody gets there and gets involved into it. If the trivia does well, maybe we'll do something like that every two weeks with everybody. And, you know, it probably won't be like the hugest prizes ever, but it'll be something fun where we go through and do. Uh, I spent a lot of time today. I did turn my phone off since I got out of work at 3.01 p.m. today, Eastern Standard Time, of course. Uh, and I was waiting on UPS to come. But everything you see here, that's auction stack, sell, sell, sell. So whatever does not go, I will take and load in the store on Friday. I'm thinking at 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there'll be an automatic discount added to the store. I will do a video and post on the Facebook business page, not the group page, the business page that the code is now active to. But you guys get first shots at the Black Friday stuff. Um, it, it's going to be pretty good. There's basketball in there. There's baseball and football. There's no hockey. No hockey. Uh, also, I got stuff for sale, too. You need some Topps Chrome Black, one of the hottest products out that looks sick right now. I'm telling you, the checklist is very small. I've seen some awesome cases today. I've not been disappointed from one that I've seen, probably out of about 10 to 15 opened, roughly. Very good stuff. I have three boxes. I will announce that price tomorrow. It will be a lot lower. Um, this is the box I'm splitting with somebody, so we got some mosaic, uh, football. Stellos. I'll probably open this up because I do want to see what the heck's inside it and if it goes the other way. And then don't forget these. This is Panini one on one. You get one insert card. People are chasing the, I think it's the downtowns in this, if I remember right. My head's a little fried from today doing trivia questions. And you also get that one autograph encased. I got two of those laying on the side. Um, I'm stacked, guys. We're ready to roll for almost tomorrow. Um, I'm going to start with a new business uh, schedule here, too, afterwards, where Sunday and Mondays are my off days. Um, and basically, if you still buy something from the store, it'll still ship out. You'll still get all that kind of stuff like that there. It doesn't mean if you, don't buy, if you buy something on Sunday, it's not going to ship on Tuesday. Shipping's still going to be the same. But Monday, I spend so much time in business meetings and then with distributors and everything that it just it's really hard to respond back to emails, phone calls, text messages. So Sunday and Mondays are going to be extreme out unless I come on live because I got nothing for that week. Something, you know, in them rare cases. Um, but I'm, unless I see an email or a text, it's like an emergency, like because the store did something crazy with a charge or something like that there. I'm probably going to push those off to Tuesday unless it's something really, really, really important. Now, because I get, I don't want to get wrong. Like, if people are like sending me emails, and I'm getting a lot of people ask me what I think this card's worth and stuff like that. Can you comp my card? I don't mind doing it, but it, it becomes a hassle when I get four to five emails a day from the same people um, asking me to comp their cards for them when you just go on eBay. Use Suplex. 
Um, it's by Insights, duplexed at past tense. And by Insights, you can put it on your Chrome desktop. Uh, it's like a, a Chrome add-on. It'll give you what those prices are and stuff. Um, I it just it takes a lot of my time to sit there and go through a lot of those emails, ping it and stuff. And I gotta have some downtime for myself, uh, just just for personal stuff. I like to watch TV and stuff like that. And probably once uh, football season ends, I'll probably tweak it back to Mondays and Tuesdays where I'm just going to be kind of out of the loop. But Sundays, because it's NFL day, I like to sit back, relax. And normally, I'm sorting and shipping. So don't get me wrong. If you get in a break, Saturday stuff's still going out Monday type deal. It's just more that I'm going to back away from the business stuff uh, on uh, Sundays and Mondays, unless it's something that's like dire need emergency, like I've gotten with you and you have something I want, and like you know, you send me that email, yeah, I'm gonna respond back to something like that's something that's not really business, it, that's personal related to me, you know. But if I get something that's like, hey, I just got this cool card, what do you think it's worth? It, it's gonna wait till Tuesday, and uh, I mean, I, I'll look at it and I may give you my last thing. If you don't like what I give you as a price. I mean, you can always put it as whatever you want and accept to whatever you want on the offer, too. But it just, I get a lot of emails daily, and I get phone calls and text messages. And a lot of this stuff, it, it, it's redundant to where I don't mind helping people out. But when it's going on all day long, it, it really starts taking a bite into me. And I, I got to get some downtime out here, especially with some of the stuff I have planned for next year. So hopefully everybody understands that. Not that I'm pushing anything away, it's just I got to get a little downtime for uh, myself here to be able to, you know, get stuff done around here other than, you know, my normal daily routine stuff. Plus with COVID, I haven't really gone out much, so it's just like me sitting in the house all day. Kind of sucks. You guys know what I mean. Better than that, please tune in tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Eastern. We'll do a little hobby talk. We'll bust this open. Um, probably bust that basketball open. We'll do some trivia. There's, like I said, there's three prizes, top prize, or if you want to choose something else, you can on the board. Number one will get either that or, well, we'll just say a top choice, but this is one of the prizes right there, $50 box. Um, people want to do personals and talks from Black, Panini one-on-one. -on -one. I think that might be all I've got back there, really. Yeah, a lot of the other stuff's really uh, old back there, other than the break stuff for the weekend. But, uh, stop by. Come say hello. Uh, CBC will be live after me. He has, like, a full freaking eight-foot table down in his little uh, cave area that's just full of cars that he's going to be running. So, I expect we'll probably be on for about three hours that night, probably about 10 p.m. Eastern to about 1. I would say no later than 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but CBC will be following me. So, that way, all we cover, like, the whole group, East Coast, West Coast type deal. Um, people get deals all day long, uh, and stuff like that there, but come on in, it'll be some fun. Uh, like I said, trivia, we're going to give it a shot, see how it goes. I think it's like 15, 20 questions. Uh, some of the stuff's pictures, some of the stuff, you, you guys will see it. It's a little bit different than what most people, I guess, do question answer type deal. I tried to make it a little bit harder so, uh, people aren't Googling the answers and stuff like that. And, a lot of stuff was just off the top of my head questions. I didn't use, like, one website to get all my questions and answers from. If it goes well and you get a good response to it, um, I'll probably do an AAR, which is an After Actions Review, afterwards onto what you guys think of doing trivia. If it's something we want to do, I could probably host it twice a month. Um, we'll do it earlier than 10 p.m. Eastern. We'll probably do it, you know... Sunday, maybe Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, depending on where the breaks are, but we'll figure something out in there, maybe Friday nights, something cool, different, you know. But other than that, I'm out. Hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. If not, have a good Thanksgiving with you and your family. Um, I'm one of the people who don't care. I'm not going to tell you to have only keep under eight people in your house. Have as many as you want. Just park cars everywhere like everybody else does. I mean, I'm parking a car in my driveway for a neighbor just so they don't get busted out here. <laughs> Better than that, I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow night. Take care. Have a good night.